On Monday next week, the presidential campaigns will begin with 11 candidates tussling it out to take the highest office in Uganda. However, according to the presidential candidates and their representatives, the 60 days set aside by the Electoral Commission for their campaigns are insufficient for them to traverse 146 districts. Today, the candidates and their representatives met with the Electoral Commission to harmonize the schedule. Now, if you look at the Presidential Elections Act, the purpose uh, clearly says that uh, a presidential candidate should have an opportunity to go at least to one district in Uganda. They, they, there should be enough time to give a candidate at least one district uh, in Uganda. So if, you, if, if a presidential candidate does not even have half of that, we now have 146 districts in this country, and uh, they are giving you only 60 days. It's not even half. We would have needed more time, especially since the meetings are going to be much smaller than what is ordinarily expected. Before you were allowed to make a, a meeting of as many as a million people if you had the space. Now it's only 70 people, which means if a district, with all the districts that are available, 146 districts, and you're only having 70 people per district, first the 60 days won't be enough to cover all the districts. Yeah, I mean, like when you look at uh, 60 days, it means that if you put in the travel days and all that, basically, effectively, you have about uh, uh, 45 or 50 days of actual work. The rest you have to have maybe days of rest, others uh, days of travel. The commission did not deliberately reduce on the, on the period for them to cut out meaningful campaigns. It was all because of COVID. With the Forum for Democratic Change Party slated to launch their manifesto on Monday in Soroti, they say they will not follow the commission's schedule to save time. Our intention is to have a one single journey. From Soroti you go to other areas, so there should be no, even if there are other people, there is no way I'm going to go through, to drive through Lang or to go to Acholi and then come back the same year. That time is not there. So for us, we will just drive through the country, start from Soroti, and then we will not stop. So while we are harmonizing with the electoral commission, I am giving them notes. There is no way you are going to vacate a region, go to another, and then waste most of the time just driving between one sub-region to another. Having a harmonized campaign schedule program is to avoid the candidates' programs clashing, being in the same place, the same district, same venue, same time, and then you have these uh, the supporters uh, who take their support to another level, you know, bordering on anonymity. And then we say to avoid these potential clashes, let them stick to the schedules that we have been worked out or agreed upon as much as possible for the good. Some of the candidates have asked the Electoral Commission to persuade President Museven to adjust the curfew time, which is 6 p.m. for border borders and 9 p.m. for vehicles to allow night travel. But if we are going to do political coordination, political mobilization, it means that the persons who are coordinating our campaigns in the various areas and districts must be allowed to move beyond even the curfew times. So if they are going to be arrested just like it is for everybody else, then it becomes very, very impractical. I do not see any problem with whoever is in charge of imposing this curfew to say we need to look into this and see how either to review it or to adjust it or whichever is appropriate. I don't see any problem. I just wanted to know, looking at the time that is so short, will this have a financial bearing on your campaign? If money allowed and resources allowed, and of course if government even allowed us airspace, we would want to fly from one district to another so that we can cover more districts, meet more people, waste less time on the bad roads in this country, waste more time in the traffic jam in this country, and get to where we need to get. The contenders shared their plan on how they will hold campaigns of not more than 70 people per district in 60 days. If you choose to go all over the country, it means that literally you'd have to go to three districts per day. That means you must have a meeting like in the morning, another one around uh, midday, another one in the afternoon. 
We are going to use covert and overt means of mobilizing. There are those means which are hidden that the police will not be aware, we shall outreach our people, and they will just surprisingly see actions. Almost all the presidential candidates we've spoken to say that 60 days are not enough for them to traverse 146 districts, which add up to 315 constituencies. It's now only time that we'll tell how these candidates are going to tussle it out under COVID-19 restrictions. Sudir Biarhanga, NTV.